Hi, it's Dr. Tom. Questions come in every once in a while. Will the Whole30 diet cause me to be more gluten intolerant? Or will the Paleo diet cause me to be gluten sensitive? Or will the autoimmune diet cause me to be much more sensitive to wheat or dairy? And the answer is yes. And here's how it happens. When you clean up your diet and stop throwing gasoline on the fire, causing the inflammation that's manifesting the symptoms you got, when you stop eating that food, you start feeling better. You start functioning better. The prerequisite in our office is three weeks. I don't care what you've got. I don't care if you've got cancer. In three weeks, you should know that you're in the right place and the protocols you're doing are starting to work. Energy's up, sleep's up better, you know, whatever it is, joint pain is less, whatever your symptoms are, you should notice you're on the right. Now, it may take you two years to get this thing fixed, depending on how much damage there is, but you should know you're on the right track pretty quickly. Why? Because you're starting to feel better. Something's working better. So what happens when this body that for 30 years, 40 years, 50 years has been heading in a particular direction, and within three weeks you've changed what you do, and in this discussion it's you're not throwing gasoline on the fire anymore by eating the foods that you're sensitive to, you change what you do and you're starting to feel and function a little bit better. You're starting to come up a little bit. What happens when you throw gasoline on the fire again? You go boom, and you get the symptoms right away. You notice, boy, boy, I never had a reaction like this when I eat wheat, I eat wheat in the past. Why am I getting it now? Am I more sensitive? Well, I guess you are. It's because you're functioning better. You know, you're functioning better. You're functioning at higher performance. You know, you take a, a high-end car like a Lamborghini or a Ferrari or something like that. Put cheap and inexpen inexpensive gas in it. It doesn't run so well. Put really good gas in it, it runs really well. Put cheap gas in it, it's not going to run so well. So that's what's happening to you as your body is going from not doing so well, you went to the doctor, you applied some protocols because your health isn't great, and now you're starting to feel better, you're feeling better, and you put cheap gas in the car again. What's going to happen? The car's not going to run so well. You're going to notice it quicker. That's why people say, I feel more gluten intolerant after going on the Whole30 because if I have wheat, I feel really, it really hits me. My response, good, good, now you know. Now you know, you can't eat that anymore. Because when you were functioning down here like this all the time and getting by, how you doing? Oh, I'm getting by. Well, I know that person needs to see me. You know, because it's supposed to be, how you doing? I feel good, or I feel great. You know, that's how it's supposed to be. But when you're down here and you eat wheat, you know, it doesn't feel much different because you have this underlying uh, dysfunction going on all the time. You stop eating wheat and you start functioning higher and higher. You eat wheat again and you just crash right away. So that's why that happens. Okay, talk to you next time.